How's it going? Good. How about you? I'm doing alright. I'll do a, uh, I'm guessing you guys don't have the bagel sandwich. No, it's currently available. Rip. Rip. I'll do a number two meal. Um, this is a hard decision. I said like six minutes for yourself. <laughs> six minutes? Ty, you go. What do you want? Can I get some oatmeal? Are you kidding? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I was going to kick you out of the truck. I, I want the old sausage, egg, and cheese McGriddle meal. I will do a it's number six it. meal. I'll do a number five. And then can we get a number five? 19 to 7. We, we did it. You're going to get a sweet tea for breakfast, guy? Yeah. Well, I thought about getting some OJ. Well, I'm definitely hitting this curb. Oh, Hang on. Rip. We got the livestock trailer. We're headed to the auction, but we got to stop and get some breakfast first. We're actually going to Chick-fil-A, but it's Sunday, so that didn't work out too great. Rip. So we're going to do a McDonald's breakfast muffin. Thing. You guys stay tuned. Oh, yeah. Look at this. We're going to show you guys these. Give me a demonstration on how that works. That's the, that's the... That's the otter, and that's a bobcat. Rawr. Last year's mounts. The mounts are open. The, the noise they make. This is a kitty cat. <laughs> I don't want to fall apart. Look at Dancer's chocolate milk. It's so cute. Here you go, here you go kiddo. Hell yeah. Have a good day. Appreciate it. So, anyways, we got the goats. We're going to do a little mukbang here, and we're headed to the exotic auction. It's our third time being there. This is where we got Carol. This is where we got Steve. What else do we got? Chungus. Where we got Chungus. What else is that? Guineas? Uh, we've got guineas there too. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got guineas there. So, we're headed to the auction. You guys stay tuned. All right. Driving muck. Don't drive in mukbang, folks. Okay. It's dangerous. This is always. Well, this is my second go to, okay? Go to McDonald's breakfast. You get the bagel, egg, cheese, bacon sandwich. They never have it though. Ever. So, I've got this guy. Oh, God. I've got a merch with the semi rip. This is my second go to. This is a sausage, egg, and cheese McMuffin. I feel like this is a staple from for McDonald's. It's just like a just a go to. What'd you get? Would you have the McGriddle? Oh, I throw McGriddle, yeah. How's that one? Let me see that. You want, you want, you want see this bag here? Bad boy in your mouth. Wait, oh, okay. Don't gotta tell me twice. The old, the old pancake buns. They do it every time. Oh, what's going on here? My egg ain't. I was losing my egg. Oh god, yeah. So it's a it's a pancake. Right? Yeah, they're pancake buns. Really? Oh yeah. Pancakes for buns. What'd you get, Rick? I've never had this before. What, so what is it? It's the same thing I pulled you. I got but mine is bacon, so it's a pancake bun. Oh, oh really? So yeah. pancake buns, never huh? That. But if you you've had a McGriddle, just not with the bacon. Mm -hmm. You've never had a McGriddle? That's your what? first McGriddle? You gotta be kidding me right now. I always now. go with the. We just pop your McGriddle. Bagels there. if they're there. Yeah. Or the uh, two. Uh, the burritos. The burritos, yeah. the burritos are good. Really? So that's your first McGriddle experience. Pretty good. Yeah, it's one of those things like after I get done eating it, I kind of feel like poo. It's just like a lot. Like yeah. it's a lot of sweet and just you know, it's a it's a heavy sand sandwich. I feel like yeah, get chug that freaking chocolate milk, kiddo. Look at that. How's that? Is it good? Is it what is it two percent? It's, it's, pro it's probably some freaking uh, what do you call that skim? It's probably skim, isn't it? What is what what, what is it? Good. Is it thick? Oh no, it's low fat. Vitamin A and D. Rip. That's not the strat. Reduce vitamin sugar. vitamin D chocolate milk. Reduce sugar. Yeah, I know, rip, right? You need your hash brown. Yeah. The other the other best thing about McDonald's um, uh, breakfast here is uh hash brown. Put some ketchup on, it's pretty good too. Or just plain. Mmm. Mmm. I'm sure you guys have had McDonald's breakfast. I'm surprised Banjo's never had McGriddle though. Would you rather have a McGriddle or would you rather have your bagel sandwich? Bagel. Bagel. Yeah, bagel I think is... is it's just not as sweet. This is really sweet. It's really sweet. It's one of those you eat one, you're going to be pretty, you know, full, sick to your stomach type of thing. I could probably eat like four or five Egg McMuffins if I really tried. So, anyways. Jesus. No, not really. Maybe two. Wow. If I was hungry, maybe three. But, anyways, we are headed to the exotic auction. We're not even sure what we're going to get. What we've seen is lots of cows um, that look like Carol. The uh, the long haired ones. Some of them I think are bred. I mean they're pregnant. Not that they're a loaf of bread. We've seen some camels. I did see your emus. Full jet. Full jet's a big emu guy. I saw a few of those guys. Zebras. Um, have not seen any zebras. That's good. But we've seen camels. I haven't seen any ostriches. Uh, no kangaroos. I saw a few wallabies. Um, I think that was pretty much it for exotic exotic. But they don't post everything uh, that they have online. You have to go there to see it. So that's what we're headed to do right now. We do have the large 
livestock trailer with us. So we do have intent to actually buy something large. We're not we're not just messing with you guys and gonna go buy a bird or something like we're the plan is to buy a large animal in today's video for the backyard farm. So you guys stay tuned. Shoo! We made it here folks. It's snowing out here. Here's a winter wonderland. Look at this. This is do I, are you wearing oh look at you, look at the fit you got on there, Rick. Yeehaw! Look at these, I got the boots on. Yeah, I know. You got the overalls. Dude, it's cold. I feel like I'm going to bring my jacket. Yeah, I'm bringing my coat. Because uh, we might have to be, we might have to walk outside to see some of the animals. It's freezing. Like, it's snowing. This is insane. This is the first time it snowed all year long. Yeah, we're matching. We look like a freaking, uh, we look like a bowling team. We're all going to match with our ducks, coats, baby. Looking freaking fresh. We literally are all matching. Shoo. Shoo. Look at you. I got the old shoe hoodie on. That's what I'm saying. We're matching. Yeah, let me see here. it. I, I got you. Yeah, I got Shoe. beefcake gear. Oh, true, true. Oh, true. We're all swagged out. If you guys want any of that beefcake merch, uh, it'll be linked down below. If you guys want to go to that, thanks for the audio, guy. I appreciate it. Ducks merch, beefcake merch, it'll all be linked down below. Make sure you use promo code FLAIR at checkout on both stores to save yourself some money. Dude, this is bad. This wind's cold. Florida boy, how's this feel? Oh, I'm going back. This, I'm taking vacation. This is a little appetizer for what we're in for for the next three to four months. This is it's freezing cold. This is not, yeah, this is... Really cold out here. Anyways, we're gonna go in here. We gotta walk around. We got we gotta pick out a couple of different options because obviously, you know, it's an auction. I'm not gonna sit here and try to spend a ton of money on it. Uh, whatever we end That's up getting. So, no, it is no. We're we listen. No, Carol. Carol was a good investment. Okay. Hopefully, we don't have to spend uh, that much money at this place. But maybe the snow will keep people away, keep bidders away. So. Or there's nothing else to do, so they say, hey, let's go to the auction. Where did that guy come from? One of the, one one of the two. Yeah, oh, good God. Look how, dude, that is a ton of snow. That's so avalanche. He must have came from out west. Anyways, see you guys inside. Well, folks, we made it in. Look at these guys. What, what's that hump for? What's that guy do? Oh, that looks like Carol. Carol, I think Carol, Carol might need a friend. Her and Carlos are, are chill, but like, imagine if you got Carol, her, an actual another Carol. I feel like oh, she'd be guy. pretty happy. A whole humpy. I'm not sure what that stride is. Sorry, it's gonna be loud in here for today's video. I'll, I'll just go ahead and warn you guys now, but this is where we're at. It's, that's all poultry. We're, we're staying away from the birds. We want big animals today. Look at these little fluffy cows, though. Hi, buddy. How's it going, Rick? How you doing? These guys are kind of cute. So I think these are island something. They just don't have the horns. But they're still minis, I'm pretty sure. Can't get stuck that way. They can't get stuck. Carol has gotten stuck before. This one looks like an Oreo milkshake. Looks a little, little, an Oreo milkshake. It's to say a Dalmatian, but... He's, it's still uh, McFlurry over there. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Let's name a McFlurry. Look at that guy. These guys are cute. They're all cute. You ever seen a cow like that? Where it's like black and white? That's gonna go for a lot of money. Somebody's gonna spend some money on that guy. That guy's really cool looking. But basically lots of cows. Whatever that guy is. I'm not sure what Humpty Dumpty's got going on there. And a lot more cows. Like this is insane amount of cows. Here, look at these guys. Hi buddy, how you doing? Any guys wanna hang out with Carol? That guy's little, I like that guy. Smaller the better. Less beefcakeness, you know what I'm saying? Tell me you don't want this guy. I mean, he you would, dude. Imagine if he got pissed. Oh god! Like, you better run. you're not stopping Big Chungus right here. You talk about a beefcake. That's our mascot right there, buddy. You want to be the beefcake mascot? He seems a little angry. I'm not even gonna lie. We're we're gonna try to tone down. Carol is about the beefiest we want. We gotta get below Carol. That's big boy right there. Oh, big girl, I should say. What are these guys doing? Look at all these little horns. They're they're so they're what so tiny. This horn? His horn, his horn got messed up. Hey, how's it going, guys? I know, these guys are cramming in here, but they'll be out here pretty soon uh, to get auction off. Oh, these guys look like Carol. Look at this. Look, that guy looks just like Carol. It's like a little like blondie. You like that color? Yeah, we gotta get a different color. We can't get the same color. I, I want I want a, like, a reddish orange. Ginger Ninja. Oh, that is a little, look at that little ginger. I don't want to have to bottle feed it, though. That's the only thing. That's that's old Ginger Ninja right there. I, I think a Ginger Ninja would be would be a good option for us. That's big girl right there. How you doing there, buddy? Her horns aren't even curl a little bit. The real question is, where do people have these? Like, I've never driven down the road and seen any of these. So I don't know where all these end up coming from, but. What about Big Daddy right there? That's old Big Papa. Oh yeah, that's beef. Telling you, we need, we need a beef, beefcake mascot right here. What's wrong with this guy's horns? He's got the old curve in, not the curve out. Look how many horns are. Crazy, like look, just literally cows, cows for days. Oh, these guys are, these guys are kind of cool. This is the old Ginger Ninja right here. Hey buddy, how's it going? She, she don't like me. Well, she, I, might, she might have to learn to. These guys look kind of beefy. There are some cows here that are bred, meaning that they uh, they might be pregnant. But Manja, did you make a friend? This one's chill. Oh, really? Look at those big old ears. Look at Buddy's floppy ears. He's got ears like Manja. Oh, true. 
<laughs> We're gonna name it Ban Banjo Jr. Look at Banjo Jr. right there, buddy. I like him. Why do his ears do that? I think that one's a bull, too. Do you, think, you think it would breed as Carol or no? That's probably not a good thing, huh? I wouldn't think so if they're two different breeds, right? You would, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm not a doctor, but... Uh, you could always give him the Jerry treatment. That's really? always, as that option's always it's on the table. Good. That option is not on the table. The Jerry treatment is. Chill. I want something I can pet. All right, how's it going, buddy? These little floppy ears. Look at this guy. Oh, look at that's the ginger ninja. I'm telling you, that's him right there. The old ginger ninja right there, buddy. Should we get this guy? He does have little nubs. They must have cut. I wonder if they either cut him off or actually this one's young. It's only I think this one's only a year old. But there's a name for these guys. But they got the little droopy ears. But that guy. He doesn't care. That guy's also got a little bit of a droop going on there. I think they're similar breed here. But options, folks. We got hella. Wow. We have hella options out here but banjo made a friend with big big eared guy i know you want to be friends with carol carol's pretty chill i kind of like that guy too or the little ginger ninja that guy's also cute i don't know how old he is he's skittish i mean he's got a halter he's got a little rope halter so i mean nothing we can't fix that's the old whitey oh she don't like you come here buddy i, I kind of like you too hi this guy is chill hi buddy you're definitely the most chill definitely the most chill out of everybody but all right well, let's keep we got to keep walking right halfway done dude look how cute this guy is though Tell me you wouldn't want that at the farm. I, I want Macy that at the farm. Like Macy would Macy would like that guy right there. This so big. These are a yak. You ever, you ever get a yak? No. I Catching think we should get a yak. Like what, what what does a yak do? What are they good for? Yak? Just yakking? Just being yak? Oh, he's chill. Hi, buddy. You want to come hang out with Carol? I don't know. Those are on like the next level of beefcake nest. We got more cows. Looks like Carol here. That's Ginger Ninja. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We got little guys. Hi, buddy. Oh, that's a little baby Ginger Ninja right there. Look at them all sleeping. They're so freaking cute. We got more cows. Oh, look at that. Guy. Look at it. He's got a perm. You see it? He's got a little perm going on right there. That's the old Jerry Curl. That is the old Jerry Curl. Look at this. <laughs> I think that's a yak, don't you think? Can we get more goats? You think it's a yak? Oh god. Yeah, yeah, I'm good on the goats, honestly. Oh, really? Yeah. No, not not you feeling this. Little guy? They are cute. They are cute. Not oh, not here for the goats. Look at that guy. Is he sleeping? He's teeny little guy. Dude, I kinda want the yak with the perm though. Low key. Look at him. What's Buddy doing? He's got the flow going on. He looks like a little TikTok e-boy. Oh, he got the cam. Oh, that's a water buffalo. Dude, who has a water buffalo? We, we, need, we need to get a water buffalo. Look at it. We gotta get both of them. Water buffalo and camel. Like in Nebraska? I've seen water buffalo before. Okay. Yeah. It's probably a little cold for Buddy, but oh my gosh. I say we get the tall camel and ride it back to the farm. Camel, water buffalo, and more camels. We've always it said we like want a dinosaur. camel. No. It sounds like a dinosaur. Really? Here, I'm gonna get closer now. What's Buddy doing? <laughs> Really? <laughs> I did not expect that at all. Hi, bud. He'll bite your he'll bite your hands clean off. Kinky boy. He's kinky. Look at them lips. Oh, he's soft. He is really soft. Is he nice? Hi, buddy. Hi, bud. Oh God. Good. Nick. Dude, that's literally like a dinosaur. See, they kind of like if he turned on you, you're dead. You know what I mean? Like they run 25 miles an hour. Can I only see that? 25. He's so soft. Oh Did I God. not just say dinosaur? I don't know. I don't. Macy would not approve. I'm what do you mean? This Dude, is awesome. What if he I'm got so mad down. one day? But look at him. He loves you. But what if, he, what if, what if you decided nice. he don't like banjo anymore? Yeah, what if he's not? Nice? Look at him. Maybe he's he so likes nice. treats. You think so? Yeah, well, I don't have any treats. Before. That's one of those. Like, look at those feet. Dude, look at him. He's nice. Imagine, <laughs> imagine <laughs> taking him for a walk and seeing those tracks in the snow. Like, what would you do? Literally, that's I, that's a I could ride this to the pond. You could. We could take him fishing. He he actually could take us fishing. What's he? What's he doing? He's kind of cool. Hi, buddy. What's up, what's up with you? You're not about that life? He's mad. He don't like you. He's pissed. No, he likes me. I'm not, I see the little guy. I'm, I'm more about this little guy. Yeah, but this guy likes him. But he's That's friendly. True. This guy's friendly. That guy might not be friendly. I don't know. Yeah, he don't like me. Hey, you, you think he's friendly no, until he bites your head off. No, he and then he's not likes friendly. people. He came right up really? to us. He's a big banjo fan. I, you rode a camel before, huh? I've ridden, I've ridden a camel. I was in Cabo. I rode, rode a camel. Hey, buddy. Hey. Hey. What up, Rick? See? He's not hey. biting oh, your hand. Hey. What, you stick a tongue out of it? What, what, what that mouth do, buddy? Hey, you're all right. 
He is, he is pretty chill. You think he'll play with Carlos? Him and Carlos would be best no, boss. him and the Llama. He thinks, oh, but Llama don't like him. You know who's going to win that battle? This guy. Not Llama. That's fine. You want, you want Llama to go bye-bye? We can't lose. Real. Interesting. Yeah. We have nothing like this at the farm. Bro, he's too big, bro. What do you mean? I, I'm scared. He'll fit in the trailer. I'm scared. Dude, that's like, a large animal. He's chilling. He's so cool. That's a large animal. I, I, I want to investigate the little guy. I, I got to check it out. Wait, hold on a second. You know that turns into that, right? Yeah, but like... <laughs> the same thing. Yeah, but like... It's going to be that in like a year. Yeah, but we, we have a year to tame it. You know what I'm saying? That one's already tame. Hey, buddy. Come here, Rick. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey, come on, come on, come on, come on. She don't like us. Oh, no. the water buffalo likes These guys don't like us, but I can. I feel like I can manage that. It's basically the same size as llama. This guy came from a petting zoo, and it's a female. Do you know what? Have, have you seen nuts on that? Uh, I'll, I'll go take a look. Go, go take a look. You're not, not a, doctor. a doctor. Oh, I see nuts. No, actually, I don't know. Oh, I think I saw a weenie. Did you? Yeah, yeah. That, that's how I got a weenie. Oh no, I see I a weenie. Got any nuts Dude, though. I. There's no way I'm buying a male. There's no way. They, Next thing you know, they're biting Steve's nuts off again. I don't think he'll fight with them, but I'll pack them. Like, look at this little guy. And look at Big Jim. Oh, that is not bad. Oh, there's your emus. Oh, you ever seen a baby alpaca? I think that's an alpaca, yeah. yeah baby no. alpaca and then your emus. They're like little ostriches. He's doing the stanky leg or something. Is that it? Yeah. So what are you thinking? Yeah, yay or nay? It's I, from a I petting zoo. Oh. Female. Is it? That guy's a male. We can't have big yeah. nuts boy. Well, I, I'm a fan of a camel. You want the camel? I don't think he has any nuts dangling, by the way. Oh, no. I, I, saw, I saw some nuts. Really? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, I saw oh. nuts, yeah. Buddy, you got any nuts? Hey. You got some nuts? Hey. Hey, you got, you got to kiss you. <laughs> you got any nuts, buddy? Buddy's definitely got some nuts. I think that Their guy would be better. Their necks are so impressive. They can just like do whatever they want. He said their neck is impressive. Really? He's impressed by the neck. I think maybe, depending on the price, it's a female I from a petting like zoo. Petting. She might not be insanely friendly, but we can always fix that. Or you get a watered buffalo, or you get a cow, a fuzzy little ginger ninja cow. All three. Or all three. I'm down. You're buying? Rip. Look at that little guy. That's a little wallaby. What's he doing? I bite fingers back. Those things scare me. Really? What are you, is he a weasel? What is he? Yeah, He's a mink. It's a mink? Really? Look at him right around. Oh, dude, that's a capybara. Look at that guy. What does that guy even do? That guy's pregnant. Really? I don't really want babies with those. He kind of looks like a beaver. He just like hangs out. You like the wallaby? Yeah, he's cool. Look at him. Hi, Hi buddy. Oh god, look at him stand up. It's like a kangaroo. It's, like a it's, little, it's, it's a, a baby kangaroo, kangaroo family. Look yeah, at him. That one. He's got a pouch. I'm not sure how he'd feel about it snowing outside. There's a trailer over here full of more exotic so We're gonna go in there and see what we can find. Oh god, look at this guy. We're about to go in the trailer. We got a porcupine. They pet him. Hey, come here, Rick. I bet he's soft and cuddly. Oh, you think so? Yeah, I think so. You should cuddle him. Look at him. He's, he's cute. Tiny. He's tiny. He's a cute little guy. Oh god, he's pissed. He's mad about it. Interesting. We got a porcupine for one, but there's gotta be something in here. We gotta get something else besides a big animal. We gotta come here. Banjo wants a small animal, so we gotta find something. Else. It's a cooney. Yeah, it is. You want another cooney? Want another one? Not really. Banjo, I'm not sure. I'm not seeing anything cool back here. What do you think? That's not the deal. I think you just grabbed, I think you just grabbed that porcupine and called it a day. I'm down. You got, you can, he can stay in your apartment. I'm stay at the cabin. I'm you need a cabin pet. That's what I'm saying. Porcupine. Ducks and dogs. That's the only thing I have a cab. No porcupine. 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 If you guys want Banjo to get a porcupine, you guys let me know. Yes, sir. They're five months old. They're out of Mexican bloodline. Mexican bloodline. Emus. I'm telling you, he moves the way to go. Look at them. They're like little... Are they pterodactyls or velociraptors? They look like dinosaurs. You take your choice out there. Velociraptor or pterodactyl? Pterodactyl. Pterodactyls fly, yeah. Yeah. No, velociraptors fly. I think they both fly. Raptors fly. Pterodactyls run. Do they? Really? He's checking see. Velociraptors fly. Pterodactyls run. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right, you're right. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Yeah, because they run like a pterodactyl. They fly like a velociraptor. Oh. They look like both. There they are. Somebody get 10 grand. Get 10 grand. 3,800. 3,850. So, 3,800. 231. Takes the ground. Takes the ground. Huh? How do we get it for that? You just got a camel, guy. 
Go, go help him, go help Hunter, him. Hunter, just jump in there. Oh, yeah. Just Are they up. mean? Yeah, that one in the back is real mean. Really? Fancy, get in there and help him. Hell no. Come on, man. Hey! 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 Yo, watch your game. Yeah. Shoo! He was mean, huh? Oh, he he, he kicked your ass? He was feeding people up in the ring. <laughs> oh, man, I missed it. Hunter's here. You guys know Hunter. He's been here every, every year. He's a fan. He's been an OG. He's gave us permission to, uh, to film this. So, again, shout out to Hunter. He's going to get the camel for us. I'm nervous. This is a new show. Should go load up. Might want to move that tire. Sorry. Yeah. God, your breath breathes. <laughs> <laughs> Do they kick? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And they oh. kick like 360. They'll kick out sideways. Huh? Yeah. Rip. Oh, God. He thought he barely fits. Come on, have me go. Oh. Oh. It's alright, buddy. It's alright. Oh, it's alright. No, you got it. It's fine. It's fine. Hang on, you hold that way and jump out. Okay, you should be good. Yep, go ahead. <laughs> oh my god. No, nah, you don't. Know listen, buddy. Listen. We're your friend. Is he gonna be alright? Oh, yeah. It's gonna hey. be a lot better when you get him out of the It's alright. Here we go. I didn't know we bought oh. a dinosaur, bro. It's gonna be alright. You, you give me Llama Rhodes. You'll probably like Llama. Hey. I, listen. Hey. He's angry. It's okay. Yeah, I got you, boss. I'll go get this side. How about that? <laughs> They're crazy. This here. kid's nuts. Hey, I'm gonna get you hella treats, okay? We're gonna stop and get you treats. Hey, you're gonna be all right. You're gonna make. Well, we got a camel load up. He's pissed. We gotta take him home, and uh, we'll see how he does. Shoo! We made it back, folks. We have a freaking camel. Banjo, he took his truck. He's on treat duty for Buddy here. Um. I want you guys to name this guy, but I, I've got a name already picked out that I do like. Uh, this guy right here, to me, he looks like a freaking Ralph. How's it going, Ralph? Oh, Ralph's, oh, dude, he pees backwards, look. Really, that's impressive. Look at that. He's, Wait, is his wiener backwards? Like, does it face that way? How's that work? Really? See, I don't know if you guys can see it. He's literally peeing backwards right now. Ralph's got talent. He's peeing all over his tail. What's the, oh, rip. What's the strat there? Buddy, it's gonna be all right, Ralph. It's gonna be all right, Ralph. Hey. It's gonna be all right. Just keep peeing on yourself, I guess. I'm not sure if that's really strategy. Warm. I mean, he's still he peeing. Pee holes backwards. How's he peeing backwards? That's pure talent right there. But we do have to get this guy off. Um, he's probably chilly. Uh, luckily that front end's closed. So, it, but it, I mean, it's a cold day. So I'm sure he's a little chilly. Some of you guys are thinking, why in the heck would you have a camel in Nebraska, like in the middle of nowhere where it's cold? Where? Listen, he came from a local petting zoo, which they live in the same climate um, that we have here. But we are going to make some better accommodations. We needed to do it for everybody, but we're gonna do it right now because we have him. One, they just ran through all their hay this morning, so we gotta give them another bail. Uh, but two, this barn has not been cleaned out for all summer. It had the same hay all summer, but we need to clean it out. And as you can see, it's snowing, raining, whatever, so it's kind of gross. So what we're actually gonna do is chain up that mule, and we're just gonna drag it over there and put new fluff down, new hay bedding, warm bedding for Buddy, Ralph, and the rest of these animals. That one's good, we've changed that one recently. But since he's giant, they're gonna have to use both of these barns. We really need a third barn at this point now that we got big chungus. This barn is uh, well overdue to get new hay, but we're not gonna scoop it out today because it's all wet and gross. So what we're gonna do is just move it back there, put new hay in it. We do need to put new boards on it, but the thing is today it's really cold. Tomorrow's gonna be 55 and for the next two weeks it's gonna be 55. So I know some of you guys are freaking out because it's cold and we're not ready. We weren't ready either. It was not supposed to be as cold and it wasn't supposed to be snowing, but it happened. So we're gonna try to get this guy moved. Um, if you guys remember the first time I got this, I tried moving it and I hooked onto that eye bolt right there and I bent this whole thing out. So what I have now is I have two new eye bolts I'm gonna attach to the wooden skid and then I'm gonna try to move it right from there and there, not from there. Chain it, drag it, new hay, and then we gotta get heaters for the water, fresh water, fresh hay. And then we're gonna bring Buddy in here so he's got his own pen and let them get to know each other. Llama, I see how you're looking at Ralph Llama. Hey, you better be nice to Ralph and Ralph better be nice to you. We're gonna let them interact between the fences in case something happened. That way we can just get Ralph out of here or whatever. We did a lot of research. I know some of you guys are like, Flair, why would you buy this? We did, literally, we researched all last night, all this morning, found nothing about them being aggressive towards any other livestock. What do they say? They're only aggressive towards their counterparts, towards their counterpart. which yeah, we don't have. We don't have that. The closest thing is Llama. Llama is, is kind of sketchy. He kind of looks like a camel without a hump, but you're gonna see when Buddy's next to Llama, Llama's not so big anymore. But we wanna keep a fence between them just for like right, right now. Mm -hmm. Since all those animals are over there, it'd be a good time to get the skid loader in get a new fresh bale of hay, get it ready to rock and roll, and then uh, bring Buddy in here. So anyway, let's see if we can move this barn. That one's 
Sounds in good. All right, chain it up and see if this mule can pull it over across to fresh ground. I thought that one was secure too. It just fell out. You gotta be kidding me right now. Boys. Okay, that one pulled out. My my drill bit was too big on that one. That one, that one was in. Alright, so one option if we're gonna bring the skill loader anyways, the pallet forks, you can get in there and at least like kind of break it free. It, that's what it is. Like it's light, but it's just been sitting there forever. You take the skid loader and you just pick it up and pop the skids up. It would keep it loose. We got to bring the skid over anyway for the uh, the hay, and then we might be able to move it. Rip. All right. Well, we got to go to Plan B. We got some hay in there. Nice, nice big floofy bale for the animals. Uh, I brought the skid loader down because we gotta do that, but I'm also gonna try to move with the skid loader. We got some new eye bolts. We're gonna try putting it on the side so they can't pull out as easy, and then try moving it with the skid loader with the chain, see if we can drag it. Harder than I expected, but we're gonna get it done. Oh, like your little contraption you came Dude, up this with. Is this is the world's greatest drill. Everybody watching to go take a normal eye bolt and cut it. I mean, they make them like this, hooks, but I cut a normal eye bolt. So this was the one I was actually looking for. See how long it is? Mm. But I use it for this. So much faster. All right, we should have better luck with this one. As long as there's not like big troughs and stuff, I'm fine leaving it right there. No, I mean, you've got this, but who cares? The thing is, the nice thing is that water's right there. That's gonna make it really easy because we can keep their water right next to their to their house. That looks good. So this is gonna be their new house. I mean, like I said, it's it's about as dry dirt as you can get. It's a little bit moist, but it's not bad. It's still pretty dry. So yeah. this is gonna be their not new house. This is the new version, but they're still the other side's perfectly fine too. Like I said, that one's a lot fresher hay than this one. We'll probably just dump. I'm thinking honestly, dump that out and put it up against this hydrant. Yeah. And then when you need to fill it, you just no hose is needed because once it's frozen, you can't use hoses yeah, anyway. That would be really nice. Then you just literally lift it up and we'll run a heater in there and it'll be right next to their house. That way in the winter if they want to get a drink, it's not that far away. Should be good to go. Barn held up, hold it. So the next step now, what's the next? Step? Oh, we need to get okay. hay in here. Let's go get some hay. Banjo's back. We forgot to tell Banjo about his hidden talent. Wow, well, Ra uh, Ralph. Ralph. Ralph's hidden. Ralph's yeah. Hidden, he has a hidden talent. When he pees, it goes out his back and hits his tail. Ah. Oh. It's re it's completely like reverse. His weenie aims backwards. His weenie yeah. aims backwards. At least it comes out of his weenie. That's true. Hey. Ralph's Ralph's pretty talented. I'll tell you what. How'd you figure that one out? Saw him peeing backwards. You look like a little squirt gun on his ass. And I was like, is he peeing out his butt right now? Weenie is completely face backwards, 180. How's that work for sex? I'm not sure, honestly. I'm not sure how he reproduces, but. Not uh, doggy style, camel style, I guess. Can't, whatever camel style is, we're inventing it. We're gonna start, we're starting a new trend. You gonna demonstrate banjo? No, I'm good. Oh, okay. That's for a different site. Got it. Nice base layer. All right, well, this is the last bale. We got four in here. Just give it a nice, warm base layer. In the winter, sometimes you just add hay. You don't necessarily like change it because actually the manure will radiate heat. So I don't want to start with too much um, because this is basically gonna have to last us all winter. So you don't want to have like a four foot bed. I mean, you could, but kind of a waste of hay. So we're just getting a nice, nice layer, you know, a six inch base layer of straw. This should keep everybody warm. We only have to worry about tomorrow being cold after that's gonna be back in the 50s but nice fresh bedding for our new pet and the other guys they're really gonna appreciate it he takes up a lot of room so we got to make sure that both barns are nice comfy and cozy you want to give him a treat yeah i want to see if he likes these see little if he eats them we looked it up alfalfa pellets dried alfalfa pellets they can have in moderation so I'll see if buddy wants a scooby snack ralph i want to give you a treat buddy here you want a little one? Oh yeah there you go oh, buddy yeah. hey ralph where are your friends buddy there you go is that a good Scooby snack? Let's jump inside. We gotta get him, we gotta get Ralph comfortable with us. Ralph has to be able to trust us. We have to be able to trust Ralph. Ralph, I trust you. Just don't kill him. What's Papa Ralph thinking right now? Was that a good Scooby snack? He's still chewing. He's still munching. You need some water? I heard you can drink like crazy. Yeah, these guys can drink like, what was it, five gallons a minute? I thought it was like 40 gallons a day or something like that. Yeah, it's like yeah, 40 five. gallons a day, but like five gallons a minute. Yeah. But then they can go a week, a week without drinking. Yeah. 
in in uh, MythBusters or, or something, the hump is for fat storage. It's not for water. It's not water. Nope, for fat. So keep them warm in the winter, like it's going to be. It's not really winter yet, but you want another snack? You want a Scooby snack? Oh, chill with that, Ralph. You Ralph. Bit, bit your hand. Ra oh, hey, e easy. Hey, hey. I don't. I don't. I don't give you too much. Let me break off a piece for you. He likes these. That's good. I think our our key to Ralph's heart here is. All right, you're just gonna get the whole thing, Ralph. Hey, hey. You want a Scooby snack? Hey, here, pal. Don't bite your finger the way you're doing. Oh, you got it, bud. Because he doesn't have much. Hmm. Ralph's a big boy. <laughs> he swallowed that hole. He's a big boy. Dude, I like this guy. He's so cute. What up, big chunky? He's the new beefcake mascot now. Yeah. He's the up? biggest beefcake on the farm. I mean, his hoof is like. Is that good, Ralph? It's got a big camel toe. That's right. Are you my friend now? I'm not gonna hurt you. Hey, I ain't got no more snacks though. He's only here for the snacks. Oh, he's eating the rest. Hey, That's don't good. eat that. Don't. Hey, open up. That. Don't eat that. Stop that right now. It's like a child. All right, Ralph. You let him out. Here, here we go. It's nothing, Ralph. Just, you, just use this. Just so I have something to kind of hang on to. If you want. That's all I have really right now. Yeah. I mean, I'll, I'm not gonna leave it on him for no. sure. No, no. Are you out of your <laughs> mind? Oh don't, God. don't do that. Ralph, don't do anything I wouldn't do, Ralph. Oh, he's ready. Come on, Ralph. Ralph, come on. There you go. Come on, buddy. He's, He's like, so I'm walking big. through Jerusalem right now, oh man. My <laughs> can we not put that in there? No, you can put that in there. Here, You're hang on. Hang on. Hi, buddy. Look at dude, look there. how tall he is. <laughs> Ralph, how's the weather out there, buddy? Look at him, he's so cute. Hi, bud. No, hey, hey, Ralph. Bro, we gotta take a thumbnail, Ralph. Why is he so tall, bro? He's he, literally a giraffe. He didn't look this tall when we were in no. the place. No, look, he's literally just like scanning the horizon above my. Did he head. grow? Why is he so big? <laughs> All right, Ralph, we gotta take a thumbnail. Ralph, good job, buddy. He posed for the thumbnail. He looked good. You got a Scooby yeah, snack in return. Yeah, a little treat. Dude, he's huge. Ralph, why are you so large? He's, so this guy's only two. Okay, so we saw that. Hey, he wants to make out, oh. Banjo. There was that, that little one was one and it was a girl. So this is a male intact, which I'm not a fan of because of, uh, you know, males get pissed. Look at, look at all the animals. Look at them. <laughs> <laughs> look at them all. This, who the hell is that guy? Hey, this is Ralph. You, your mama, you're not the biggest beefcake anymore, buddy. Hey, Ralph, you want to go meet everyone? Come on, Ralph. Let's go meet everybody. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. So what's the odds we're going to be able to ride him eventually? You might be able to ride Ralph. Ralph's big boy. Hey, that's mineral. Okay. You can have that. You like that? It's, you gotta lick it. You can't eat it. You gotta lick. <laughs> it's not food, Ralph. Ralph, lick. we'll give you grain. Okay. Hey, let's go see everybody else. We got water over there. Oh, he slipped. Hey, and we it's got. Slippery. There's hay. There's hay over there. Okay, guy. Look at the look. Rick. Get off the fence, Rick. I'll drop on you. Llama. Llama. Don't be mean to Ralph. Llama. Llama. Llama's scared. Llama's pissed. Hey, hey. Ooh. Llama. It's just Ralph. <laughs> He's fine. Look at Jerry. Hey, be nice to him, Ralph. So far, he's nice to them. Hey, get off. Hey, don't Dale, I don't know if you know who you're messing with. This is my boy Ralph here. He'll beat your ass. He don't even see Dale right now. He's so damn tall, he don't even <laughs> see him. Hey, oh, he bit his ear. Kinky boy. He fits, fits right, right in. in at the bar. Hey, show him the water. Everybody oh. like that. Hey, you want you want a drink? Come on, buddy. Bro, we got to go fishing with this He's guy. So, don't eat the poop. Hey, don't eat the poop. Hey, you want some water? Hey, there's no other camels out here, okay? Don't You don't got to worry about no competition. Oh, God, you, you don't want to. Don't fall. Come over here. You want some water, buddy? Dude, he's so like majestic. He is majestic. What's up? Right, here's your water. You want some water? I just filled it up. Yep. There you go, Ralph. There you go, buddy. <laughs> what was that strat, Ralph? <laughs> he had it cold. Ralph, where are you going, buddy? I don't know what you're used to eating back home. Probably not much, but right here we got a nice hay bale for you. Ralph, right here, buddy. Doesn't he have to bend down? Get that hay, Ralph. Ralph, this is all you get. You better like. Oh, oh he's the tree. tree. Hey, Ralph, there's lots of trees for you, buddy. There you go. Oh, God oh, yeah. dang, son. Oh, he's gonna eat the branch and all. Ralph don't even need the leaves. He says, give me the whole ass branch. I guess he's used to eating cactuses and stuff wherever he, you know, ca camels originated in the desert. They literally eat cactuses. He just ate a whole branch. You ever yeah. seen an animals eat a branch? Buddy, look at that. Hey, on a good note, there's no other animals that will have to compete for food over here. I will tell you though, you better get used to this hay because uh, that's about all we've got to offer at this point in life. Look at Ralph. Bro, look, I'm standing flat footed. Look at him! Why are you so big, Ralph? You're such a big boy. I think Ralph's gonna do great. He might be the nicest animal He's on the farm. super nice. Like, we just gotta keep working with him, keep giving him treats, just like we give the rest of the animals grain, but we're gonna give him alfalfa pellets. How's the weather up there, Ralph? I'm really curious. <laughs> Why is he so big? I wanna hear him kind of growl, though. He, he was barking at us earlier. He was freaking loud. He ain't been barking too much here. Look, dude, he's literally a draft. This is the most majestic thing I've ever seen. Ralph, do you want me to release the other animals, Ralph? 
I feel like he's not gonna do much. You don't care. I mean, Llama was scared of him, which yeah. Llama's about the only one that you gotta. She just, she kind of has an attitude every once in a while, you know. Dude, that came in from here. What's that? Dude, Dude digesting. I'm the telling leaves. you, this is hey. the closest thing to a dinosaur hey. that exists. Ralph, try this. Ralph, Ralph wants them leaves. He don't want that head. He's literally just gonna eat the whole. It's fine if he wants to eat this whole tree. Ralph, this is your tree. This is Ralph's tree. Okay. Hey, not oh, my hat. Oh, he's going for it. Hey, no. Nope. He yeah, says no. Nah. You don't like it. He says no. Nah. The hay is obviously not. I mean, it's well, especially this top layer. We're feeding him this. This is like the crappy part. That's what's been exposed. The inside is. This is the good stuff. The other animals will tear it apart. Ralph. I mean, luckily Ralph's got hella trees, so I'm not too worried. I heard they like getting brushed. You need a saddle, dude. We do need a ride, Ralph. God damn it! Don't do that, Ralph. Bro, I. You can see the. You hear it? You see it vibrate? You think it's a boy or a girl? You can get it. Because he's pregnant. He is flat footed, but he can dunk. Look at him. We gotta get him like a little basketball hoop and have him have him shoot. You, you know see how tall he is. I know, I think I kinda wanna met like if he's stretched out, he's gotta be. I mean he's taller, like look at this. I mean he's probably another two foot on this. So that's probably he's honestly probably pushing like nine or ten yeah. feet tall. I say we get the other animals out here. What do you think? I think he's fine. So inside Joe well not inside, I mean the video might be out now, but we got tattoos for Goob Squad video. And Yappy and Rob got camels on their toes for obvious reasons. So I want to FaceTime Yappy real quick, see what he thinks about my camel's toe. Yo! Yo. Bro, okay, so you know how you got a camel toe, or camel put on your toe? Yeah. I bought a camel for the backyard farm, dude. <laughs> look at this thing, bro. Look how tall he is. Dude, look at him. <laughs> we, got, we, we just went to the auction and bought a camel. Dude, look how tall he is, he's huge, bro. We named him Ralph. He's a beast. Yeah, he's a whole he's a whole ass camel just walking around the farm now. <laughs> you inspired me. You got the tattoo, so I was like, bro, we got. I'm not getting a tattoo, but I'll get the actual camel. Look at him. <laughs> yeah. Hey, well, hey chill, Ralph. Ralph, where are you going? Dude, he's chill. Y'all, y'all have to come hang out with him. He's he's. Yeah, be come ride him. You gotta come ride him. I gotta get a picture with my toe and on him. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. He's a beast. All right. Well, I just had to let you know. Uh, well, congratulations. <laughs> Thanks, dog. I'll catch you later. Yeah. Well, Yabby yeah, is funny because he got a camel on so I got an actual camel, but I say it's time to release the animals. They're Carlos. Carlos looks anxious. Come here, Carlos. Come on, Carol. Come see Ralph. Dale. This is Ralph. Did you not notice there's a camel here now? They're probably gonna go investigate the barn. Carol, look at Carol. Oh god, Rip. They're probably gonna yeah, they're checking out the new barn. That's a new hay setup. Keep you guys nice and warm. Pig. What are you doing? What are you doing, pigs? What do you think about the camel? He's pretty tall, huh? <laughs> Look how tall he <laughs> Hey, how you doing? Dude, he's literally gonna clear out all these trees. the only way you could like jump on his back to ride him. Oh, gotta be up here. Oh, God. Ralph. Ew, Ralph. Spray it. Oh, God. He's just spraying on me. See that? Look. Oh. <laughs> oh, do they make cud? Like, he might make cud. Because like, they keep chewing when they have like nothing. Maybe that's around. what that noise is. He just uh, spit on me, yeah, I think. Hey. Come here, Carlos. Hey, this is no Carlos. Hey, this is Ralph. Carlos. I guess Carlos has nuts. He's one of the other. Like, him and Steve, right? Hey, so Ralph. Ralph Tree Trimming Service LLC. Put that on a damn T-shirt. Come on, everybody. We gotta. Hey, we gotta get it. We gotta make sure he has no beef with anybody. So we gotta make sure everybody's over here. Bring him over before, here. Uh, he's enjoying his tree. I'll bring him to you. Jerry, you want grain, Jerry? You gotta go say hi. <laughs> go say hi to Ralph, and I'll give you some grain, buddy. Jerry. I'm not gonna mess with the donkeys because uh, they're still a little baby there, but I don't think we all, it's not them we have to worry about. It's, it, honestly, it's Llama. Llama's the only one that's kind of sketch like that. Let's get her on the other side. Llama, go get Ralph. No, there's a fence. Go get Ralph. You gotta go say hi. He kind of looks like you. You just, I mean, a little bit. Go get him. No, Llama, Llama. Llama, go the other way, Llama. Come on, Llama. She is kind of she's kind of graceful when she runs. You see that? It's so quiet. It's you don't even hear her. Hey, go to the weast, llama. To what? the weast. She why, don't like why him. Why is she freaking out? She don't like him. Look at Ralph. <laughs> Vangel's on Ralph, dude. Look at him. All right, let him go. See what he does. Go get them. Oh, he just wants his freaking trees. I want to get them to sniff each other. That way, I'm, I'm in the clear. Last time, we we were unsure. Uh, Steve and the ex llama sniffed each other, and nuts were nuts were injured in the making of that. All right, you're free, buddy. Go eat that tree. I trust that you're not gonna hurt anybody. Watch him just wipe out the whole herd right now. Look at him, he's sharing mineral. It's mineral, it's not food, buddy. I already showed you your head. Oh, look at this. Hey, you ever meet, you ever see a turkey before? That's Ed. Yeah, that's Ed, and that's Eddie. Okay. You want, you want me to lead you to another tree? Hey, hey, you're gonna smudge the lens. Carol's just eating the straw. Carol, Carol, you can't, oh my God, the pigs are too. You can't eat the straw. <laughs> so is Carlos. 
You guys. Oh, can... Is that bad for him? It's probably not good. You think what do you do if they eat deep? straw? Nothing. Why Look is, at, so why is that up? turkey so fluffy? <laughs> why do we have a fluffy turkey? Oh, Banjo's, Banjo's hauling him off somewhere. Oh, I see his little furry nuts. Are those nuts? They're, what they are is they're, they're like this, because how they walk, they would, they would like smack. So they're like aerodynamic, you know what I'm saying? You need salt. I've read that. You need like a ton of sodium, which we've got a salt block for you. And we'll get you another one if you want one. But any of these minerals should be fine for Buddy. You want some salt? Banjo's on salt, dude. You want some salt? Lick it. You gotta lick it. You don't want that. Other than salt and selenium, uh, it looked like there wasn't too much that they need. Um, that they wouldn't get necessarily from all this, but should be fine. We'll keep an eye on Buddy here. All right, so as you can see, we've got Ralph here. Macy wanted the floppy-eared cow, which he was super nice to, but I mean, hey, easy guy, you gonna take my nose? Yeah, you want it? Yeah. So Macy, I told Macy that I got the floppy-eared cow. I'm sorry, Mace, but it was it just she did she did not want me to camp. She's like, whatever you, I don't care what you get, just don't get a freaking cam. I was like, I, I won't, I won't. Now we have a camel. So I'm gonna go pick her up because she's like, when can I see the cow? Because she thinks it's all cute. Banjo's gonna hide behind the barn with Ralph. We're gonna bring Macy in and Ralph's gonna pop out and see what she thinks. <laughs> Surprise! Pure disappointment. It's not a cow. Pure disappointment. This is Ralph. This is Ralphie. He's a beast. I want a camel. He's such a beast though. Look at him. I wanted the cow. He's a beast. Look at him. He's really soft. He's super nice. We didn't want to wait. Did you do that? We didn't want to wait for the cow. It was gonna take we were gonna be there for like three more hours. So we're like, let's just buy the camel. I got a I got a steal. It was an investment. $3,800. You literally just told me The young one went for $78. There was one year old. He's two years old. Look at him. He's checking out Carol. Yeah, I don't like that thing. This this? What's wrong with him? He's Ralph. He's a beast. Look how big his that feet are. That thing's gonna jump the fence. He, what, for what reason? He likes it here. He likes this tree. He's got a nice tree. Look, he's... <laughs> he's like a giraffe. You're, I will say the cow you wanted was super nice. Don't and came, tell her that. And came right up to us. <laughs> but we didn't want to wait there, and it was also a bull, which we'd have to cut his nuts off. We didn't want to have to do that. Give him a treat. Look at him. Oh, yeah. Give him, you want to give Ralph a treat? Yeah, just do like that. Ralphie! You want that Scooby snack? Oh, you want that snack? All right, here you go. There you go, Ralph. Ah, no. He's got it, he's got it. I'll just make sure he didn't bite her fingers. <laughs> Ralph! Look at his teeth, he only has teeth on the bottom. It's just the little bottom teeth. Are they supposed to have top teeth? I don't think so. He's only two years old, so I assume not. All right, let Ralph do Ralph things. Go get your tree, Ralph. We're gonna leave you alone, Ralph. Look at, look at him. How many people can say they got this? Look this how, is sick. Look how soft he is. He's so nice. If he, I heard if he has a soft hump, he might be sick. That's a hard hump, so we're good. All Ralph wants is a tree. You gotta admit, it's a pretty cute camel. He's no. Like, what? Well, it's a nice camel. The other That's one's like, cute. the other ones didn't look like this. No, he's adorable the compared to the other. Yeah. Remember how they have the little heart thing right here? Yeah. Yeah, remember that? So we learned all about camels when we were in Mexico. You sheep! Did you say hi to Ralph, sheep? <laughs> well, folks. Oh, hey, how's that going? Hey. Ed, you realize Thanksgiving's coming up, right, buddy? How's that make you feel? <laughs> nah, we won't kill Ed. Maybe Addy, but not Ed. Anyways, there you have it, folks. We got a camel. I named him Ralph. If you want to name him something else, you can let me know. I think Ralph, Ralph's a good name for a big boy like that. Look at him. That's a big boy right there. But hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Macy's pissed. Maybe next time we'll buy the cow you wanted. Maybe, potentially. But for now, we've got a giant camel that we can ride or something if we want to. And that's pretty much all we've got going on. So, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Remember, Beefcake merch, link down below. Ducks merch, link down below. Promo code player to save money on all of those. We'll catch you guys in the next one. And peace. Quit eating my jacket.